Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video. And uh, well, basically, I mean, the, those past few weeks, it's been retro figures, retro figures, retro figures, retro action, retro figures. And spoilers, there's more retro figures coming. It seems that it's everything, everything that's going out at the moment. And that is of interest to me is retro figures, which is nice in a way for me. But I hope you're not bored with retro figures because there's more to come. So, because of all the rest, those retro figures, I thought that maybe we could do a retro unboxing because we haven't done one of those in a very long time. And I know that in the past you've enjoyed them. Uh, so, we're going to check an old figure line uh, that was released in the 80s and it has to be my favorite toy line of the 80s. And yes, this is actually a hint because those are some of the vehicles for that line, which is DC Super Powers by Kenner. And that's an amazing toy line from the 80s. And uh, what we're going to see is we're going to see this box. Yes, I know it's doing some noises as well. It's actually not a box, it's a carry case. And of course, what does a carry case contain? figures so we're going to open this carry case uh, and uh, check the figures that are inside um, I can't show you the whole of the collection because I mean it's quite an extensive like there there's 34 figures including a maid away there's one two three four five six four five six is it there's seven um, vehicles and there's a playset, and there's this. There's, that's quite actually quite an extensive life for the time. Uh, I wish they hadn't done more. And of course, McFarlane now is now doing a homage superpowers line, which is actually quite cool, even though I have my misgivings uh, with it. But you've seen that in other of my videos, anyway. And uh, without any further ado, let's discover the first wave of the superpowers collection. As you can see, it comes in this beautiful, beautiful carry case. So that was a carry case that it was all the rage. Carry cases were all the rage at the time, at that at that time. So they, they were existing for absolutely any of the toy line. And this one is particularly good because it's actually done to contain the first 12 figures of the line. So we're going to discover the first 12 figures of the superpowers line. And you're going to see why I love that line so much. So, let's open. So you do have this. That's one of the two uh, sides of the box. So of course, you do have actually some of the origins of the superheroes that are featured in there. You do have a little uh, thing here that is basically... So you can put the accessories. And this one is to put all the mini posters and um, mini comic books that were in uh, the toys because each of the action figure had a mini comic book included which I'm going to actually I can show you one of those mini figures uh, one of those mini figures sorry if I'm, I'm just getting confused one of those mini comics so I'm going to show you Batman so as you can see you have a mini comic book with a story about Batman and those were little mini catalogues of course because you had all the uh, figures of the first wave and some of the the vehicles uh, actually and some of the figures actually contain also a mini poster so this is the Batman one uh, just to show you but all of those the first releases of those figures had uh, a mini poster which I think is rather cool uh it's always a question of finding yes that's how you fold it back but what you all want to see of course is uh, sorry just putting this back in here we go you want to see the figure so the first side actually has one two three four five figures out of the 12 which means i've got seven more to go and we're going to start of course with Superman. So this is the superpowers Superman, with his uh, closed cape. I mean, you you can you can remove all the capes. I mean, the capes are removable, 
and you can actually put them back very easily it's a fabric cape and uh, it's actually very cool those are seven points of articulation you've got the arms you've got the head uh, even this one is a bit eh, rusty and you do have leg and knees so seven point of articulation for those figures and all of those have a superpower so they do have an action figure for an action feature sorry so for superman for example he's just basically punching people when you press his leg so that's the first one of the line uh, i'm going to go quite quick because we've got 12 of them to to go and well we don't want to spend two hours doing that even though i would love to but you may have something else to do um and then you do have of course after superman we do have batman i mean it's the classic classic batman uh same thing he does have this big uh close cape which is absolutely fantastic so here you go very very classic batman of course he's got his batmobile here but i'm not going to show you the batmobile today maybe another day if you if you're nice to me i will show you uh the batmobile which is such a cool vehicle but it would take its own video and of course he does have also a superpower and what does batman do well batman does give some punch as well but only when one with one hand uh I mean, I'm sure you can, you can actually, yes, you can. It's just that with, with those, they have a tendency. That's one thing to know about superpowers. All of the, all of them have a superpower, but of course they were done in the eighties. I mean, we're talking like 40 years ago. So some of the action fe fe features may not be working correctly. That's always the danger with those, but it's very, very cool. Then we do have flash. So, of course, uh, this is the Flash, so Barry Allen, uh, because at the time that was the only Flash that existed. So it's very, very cool. And of course, oh, if I'm pressing his leg, nothing happened. That's because his Flash, Flash is running. So basically, he is running when you press his arms. <laughs> I know it's getting a bit silly, but don't you love this? This is absolutely fantastic. Then we do have Green Lantern, uh, so Al Jordan Green Lantern, and of course he comes with his power battery, and what does he do? So it's very, very, once again, very classic uh, version of the character, and what does he do? He actually can lift up his arm with, basically with the ring, because he's got his ring on his finger, and uh, so that's it basically he has this uh, ring power punch or whatever you want to call it so another very very cool figure i really love those and to finish the first side we have our first super villain and i have to admit one thing why i miss terribly something in in toys nowadays and it's vacuum form cru uh, plated uh, metalized figures because of course now you can't do those anymore because there's some uh, safety rules about those i think it's because it flakes very easily and kids could actually swallow some bits of the vac metal but here you go this is brainiac and brainiac not only is it's a big figure because i mean if you compare it to superman i mean it's much bigger than superman and um, but not only is big but is absolutely fantastic in his blue chrome uh, glory so he doesn't have as many articulation this one has only five point of articulation but what does he do what 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 does any supervillain do i mean he tends to kick people when they're on the ground and that's what he does he can actually do the can can which i think is actually fantastic as I said, some of those action features were quite ridiculous. But, I mean, who can't love this? This is absolutely fantastic. And this is done with the first side of the uh, carry case. But, of course, as you may have noticed, we do have also a back. And in the back, you have another part as well. And we do have the last seven figures i'm being careful because it's those ones have a lot of accessories and i wouldn't want to lose the accessories that would be really annoying if i did so 
without any further ado let's continue we do have robin because of course we we have batman we need robin and that's the uh, dick grayson version so classic uh, robin as always i mean you can remove the cap not going to shoot and he does have an action feature and of course what does robin do he does the karate chop uh which here you go so he can do the karate chop yeah because that's what robin does he does karate it's actually quite a fun uh, action feature it's not one of the most ridiculous one uh <laughs> Uh, I, I think Brainiac is probably the worst one, uh, but it's a nice one. And of course, we do have then what is the only female character in the whole line, and it is Wonder Woman, and she is a beauty. She really is. I mean, she does have her heels, which I think is quite funny, and she does have. A golden lasso quite often uh, people have lost the golden lasso so you will f if you find the figure lose it usually doesn't come with its uh, lasso but I mean it's just a, a little golden thread so it's very difficult if you go to the abattoiry you should be able to get one and what does Wonder Woman do well you know that one of Wonder Woman's powers is actually to reflect bullets with her bracelet. So that's exactly what she can do, which I think is quite funny. So uh, a very cool action feature uh, that she, she, she has, uh, Wonder Woman. So as I said, the only female character in the whole line. Let's go for a supervillain for a change because we do like our supervillain. And the biggest Batman supervillain is, of course, the Joker and um, is absolutely incredible. I mean, does have this full costume, and what he really has also is this. Uh, it's very. I don't know if you can see, but his 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 hammer also has his face, and lots of kids were also using it as a mask for uh, the Joker. But of course, uh, I, I'm not sure that the designers uh, of the toy had. Uh, thought that it would be used as a mask and what does the joker do i mean basically the accessory should be helping you to understand what he does and of course he does some hammering with his hammer so a very very cool figure i i think it's probably also my favorite look for for the joker anyway very once again very classic look no, can't get wrong with that and then we do have another uh, Batman villain, and it is the Penguin, and he looks absolutely fantastic, the portly version of the Penguin. It's once again a very, very classic version of the character, and he comes with, of course, his umble iconic umbrella, and the umbrella itself has a feature, because basically uh, you do have a little handle here and if you push the handle you do have the sword sticking out of the umbrella it's actually quite difficult to get that one because of course people lose the umbrella or the umbrella was broken but it's such a cool one and what action fe feature does the penguin have well we're going to give him his uh, umbrella but i'm not sure if it works very well once he has the umbrella no it doesn't so let's see if this if i remember well because basically he's supposed to actually give some umbrella but as you as i was saying i mean some of those need to i think i need to put some some things to try and work out how to that's better so so basically that's what the penguin does uh which is not that much i mean it's quite anticlimactic don't you think um mostly after he has this this beautiful umbrella with a sword in it like uh, doing little little uh little punches like that and then we do have three more figures to go i'll finish with my favorite of the 12 but we'll go then to Lex Luthor with his armor, the thing that's interesting is that you can actually remove the armor 
it's not very easy to do but you can it's ah here you go so you need to can remove the armor and uh, it's very interesting because that version of the figure that Seymour was used later for the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves uh, action figure line so it's actually quite uh, maybe you will find this to be uh, quite uh, um, familiar for some reason if you got the Robin Hood uh, version but of course he looks so much better with his full armor and he does have an action feature which is well I think he's just running away personally but that's a very cool action feature and uh, to know that actually Lex Luthor has his own uh, vehicle as well called the Lex Or, but that's another story and then we do have Aquaman so of course it is the classic Aquaman look with this orange top and green and you do have the fins on the back and of course he comes with his trident which we're going to put in his hand I've always found the trident to be quite a loose fit and what does Aquaman do? I, I, I mean what could Aquaman do? I mean he has to swim yeah so here you go then we do have a swimming Aquaman I mean why not <laughs> it's, a, it's but it's a really cool action and now my favorite and I uh, I really mean it I, it is my favorite figure of the first 12 along with with Brainiac and it's Hawkman so Hawkman once again I mean if you compare the size of Hawkman to uh, Aquaman he is actually a bit bigger and he's absolutely fantastic he's got his mace of course and um, and what does his action feature though well of course he can fly you can actually use that to articulate the wings that he's got on the back the thing that's interesting that the wings are actually articulated so you can actually change the uh, angle of the wing uh, and I think it's just a fantastic fantastic figure he looks incredible I think that when I got it at the time that was the one I <coughs> I, I played the most with when I was uh, using the uh, <coughs> uh, testing the, uh, the action feature I didn't play of course so that's actually a very cool figure uh, to know that the mace is actually quite difficult to get because quite often it's broken uh, that's the thing I mean and that finishes the uh, first 12 super power collection figures so that's the whole first wave and uh, and here you go that, so that's actually a good introduction to the uh, super powers uh, collection uh, to note that those 12 are actually the easiest ones to find I mean the first 12 are quite easy to get then the second series of figures is relatively easy to get the the very very tough one to find is the last one because it wasn't released completely and that's where you have cyborg and plastic man and uh, quite a few new characters that created specially for the series so here you go i hope you've enjoyed uh, this uh, retro unboxing and uh, i will be back uh, hopefully next week with something else Bye!